Hello students. Previously, we have discussed about uh, directions and uh, subdirections. We have observed figure number 1.1 according given questions. And we found that only directions does not help us to describe a location of a surface. In order to overcome this difficulty, geographers have developed a miniature model of Earth. Miniature model or duplicate model of Earth is called globe. Previously, we have discussed about globe also. There are some vertical lines and horizontal lines on a globe. And we found that vertical lines are more in number than horizontal lines. We will see how to draw such a lines on a globe. And now take out your textbooks and turn page number 2. Look at figure number 1.3. It is about. And now take out your textbooks and turn page number 2. We will discuss about uh, figure number 1.3. It is about angular distance. The location of any place on the earth's surface. This is the earth surface. The location of any place on the earth surface is determined with the center of the earth. This is the center of earth labeled as a M. In order to do it, we consider a straight line joining the points on the surface and the center of earth. See how these are points joined with straight line to center of the earth. At this center it makes an angle with the plane of equator. This is an equatorial plane. What is the equator? Equator is an imaginary line passes from east to west through earth's center. On a globe it forms as circle. But in this diagram see how it forms as an ellipse. This is a looking like an ellipse. This is an equatorial plane. And these points or any points on earth surface makes an angle with the plane of the equator. The measure of these angles is a use in determining the location of earth surface. For example, the measure of angle X M V is a 30 degree. Set the protractor with earth center. point on earth surface and equatorial plane. You will get angular distance. What is the angular distance of point X on earth surface? So just now we found that angular distance of point X is a 30 degree. While expressing angular distance we have to mention direction also. So how, how to read this angular distance? 30 degree north. Because this point is located in northern hemisphere. Look at this equator and this equator bisects earth into two parts. The one to the north is called northern hemisphere and one to the south is called southern hemisphere. So while expressing their angular distance 
we have to mention direction also now what is the angular distance of point y set the protractor with the center of earth equator and point y it is about 60 degree so 60 degree is the angular distance of point y and this point is located in southern hemisphere once again i will repeat about hemisphere from equator to north pole this area of earth surface is called northern hemisphere and from equator to south pole this area of earth surface is called southern hemisphere in this figure one more plane is there look at here and look at here how this plane originates from point x and forms as an ellipse on earth surface this is the back side of earth surface one cannot see at a time front side and back side of any spherical object and how it meets on the surface so as this plane looking like a ellipse but in actual it forms a circle on globe or earth surface any point on this circle and the equatorial plane form an angle of 30 degree at the center of the earth now do it yourself use figure number 1.4 for the following in the upper portion of the circle at the center x draw angles of 20 degree v1 x k1 and v1 x k2 k1 and k2 being the points on the circle draw an ellipse joining k1 and k2 now look at this figure figure number 1.4 these are two points v1 and v2 if we will join these are two points with straight line this line divides this circle in upper portion and lower portion now we have to draw an angles of 20 degrees in upper portion set the protractor with the earth center this is the earth center point v1 and major 20 degree and mark there now we will join this uh, 20 degree points on earth surface to center of the earth we will label this point as a k1 thus we have draw an angle of 20 degree here we will mention degree this is the angle v1 x and k1 similarly one more angle we will draw in upper portion of the circle at the center of x set the protractor with center of circle and equator and mark the point of 20 degree join these two points 
with a scale label this point as a k2 mention here a degree 20 degree thus we have drawn an angle of v2 x and k2 of 20 degree now join these two points k1 and k2 with straight line and draw an ellipse joining point k1 k2 thus we have drawn an ellipse joining point k1 and k2 next step in the lower half of the circle mark angles of 60 degree and name the points on the circle as a p1 and p2 set the protractor with earth center, equatorial plane and mark 60 degree point. Mark here and join this point to earth center using scale. Name this point as a P1. Write the degree of this angle 60 degree. Thus, we have draw an angle of 60 degree, P1, X and V1. Similarly, one more angle we will draw, set protector with earth center and equatorial plane and mark 60 degree. Label this point as a P2 and join this point to earth center using scale. Write here a degree of this angle 60 degree. So thus we have formed angle P2 X and V2 of 60 degree. Next step draw an ellipse joining P1 and P2. Thus we have drawn an ellipse joining point P1 and P2. Now we will discuss on these questions. Can you tell? Are the distances between K1, K2 and P1, P2 the same? Measure the distance between K1, K2. Note down it and measure the distance between P1 and P2. So we found that the distances between K1, K2 and P1, P2 is not same. The distance between K1, K2 is more than distance between P1, P2. Compare the distances xk1 and xp2 are these distances the same or are they different measure the distance between x this is a x point and this is a k1 and xp2 so we found that distance between x k1 and x p2 is the same distance now compare the ellipses you have drawn we have drawn two ellipses p1 p2 k1 k2 and here in this diagram already drawn v1 and v2 ellipse so we found that size of every ellipse is a different so we found that distance between x k1 and x p2 is the same distance 
Now compare the ellipses you have drawn. We have drawn two ellipses P1, P2, K1, K2 and here in this diagram already drawn V1 and V2 ellipse. So we found that size of every ellipse is a different.